Good morning, Pirates, and welcome to the Pirate Nation Newscast. I'm Lorelai. And I'm Kylie. Today is Friday, April 26, and here there are only 20 more days left of school year. Here are today's top stories. On April 26, 1986, the world's worst nu nuclear power plant accident occurs at the Chernobyl Nuclear Power Station in the Soviet Union. 32 people died and dozens more suffered radiant burns. In the explosion and ensuing fire, more than 50 tons of radioactive material were released into the atmosphere, where it was carried by air currents. The 1986 disaster at Chernobyl nuclear power plant transformed the surrounding region into the most radioactive landscape known on the planet. It will not be habitable for humans for at least 20,000 years. The following students place in the top 10 at the Florida Future Business Leaders of America State Leadership Conference. Kayla Fergoe, uh, Edgar Monroy, Evan Brown, Brody Lind. Congratulations, Future Business Leaders at Braden River High. At the end of the school year is coming, but that also means exams are coming too. It's never too late. Need time to finish an assignment? Need help on a difficult subject? Need computer access for a class project? Join Pirate Power Hour. Morning sessions, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 to to 7.25 a.m. in room 615. Afternoon sessions are 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. Mondays, room 8.23. If you can't make those times, you can also get help by Moo Alpha Theta on Wednesdays from 2.30 to 3.30 in room 722 or by using paper online and your SSO. Attention future cheerleaders, there is a parent informational meeting with the new head coach Amy Diss on Wednesday, May 1st from 6 to 7 p.m. Tryouts will be May 14th through 16th from 8 to 8. 6 to 8. Ladies, are you interested in weightlifting next year? It's not too late to get a head start with spring conditioning. Sessions are on Tuesday from 2.30 to 3.30 in the weight room. Make sure all your paperwork is turned in. MTC is offer offering the summer exploration camp to our rising juniors and seniors again this year. The students will do a rotation through MTC learning about the different programs. They will receive tools, supplies, etc. This is a free program that is grant fund. We have many students attend last year and they really enjoyed it. Info is posted on the sophomores and juniors school G page to see more or Miss Head Pats for more information. Last night, the Brand River Theater and Dance presented the Adams Family and it was a huge success. Fun was had by all. Join them tonight and tomorrow night at 6.30 in the BRHS Auditorium for this awesome fun event. Tickets are $15 in advance, $17 at the door, and only $10 in advance for students and school district employees, and can be purchased online. You can also find the link on the school website or at Brain River Theater and Dance on Instagram or TikTok. We hope to see you there for this fantastic event. If you don't have any Friday plans tonight, come check out the Volley Boys tonight in the gym at 6, hosted by your SGA Pirates. Volley Boys is a tournament-styled event where teams dress up and compete for the Volley Boys trophy. Seniors, you only have five days before exam week. Make sure all your work is turned in, library works are returned, and fees are paid. You don't want anything to stop you from graduating. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. We're SWAT Youth in Action. Of course we educate our peers about the dangers of drugs and alcohol. We're SWAT Youth in Action. Of course we know vaping is highly addictive and contains many unknown chemicals. We're SWAT and Youth in Action. Of course we know that disposable vapes are worse for teens. We're SWAT and Youth in Action. Of course I take this club very seriously. We're SWAT Youth in Action. Of course we make Nelson look awkward in all of our videos. We're SWAT Youth in Action. Of course I know vaping around my friends, family, and even pets can be a danger to them due to secondhand vapor, which can cause them to feel effects of nicotine. We're SWAT and Youth in Action. Of course we have lab rats on our ceiling. We're SWAT Youth in Action. Of course we have a closet full of our own merchandise. I'm the advisor of SWAT and Youth in Action. Of course I get dragged into all these commercials. And now to the PNN Sports Desk for the latest results in sports. 
Welcome to the Pride Nation News Sports Desk. I'm Isaiah, and here's the latest news in sports. The Pirate baseball team is 13-12 on the season with wins this week against the IMG Gray team 2-1 and Manatee 10-0. Senior Matt Schaefer and junior Rise Klein are number 3-4 and four in the district in batting. The team plays the last game of the regular season at home on Monday night against Freedom. Come out and support the team for a job well done. Go Pirates! The Lady Softball Pirates lost a heartbreaker on Wednesday 8-7 to to Northport. They're, they played their final regular season game last night. Senior Jada Phillips leads the 5A district with 10, 10 and home runs with 8. They played a well-fought game but fell short with a score of 8-7. to The girls' flag football team played Wednesday against Keswick Christian and won 32-7 to and advanced to the final round of regionals. They will host St. Petersburg next Tuesday for the title. In the semifinal round in regionals, number 9, Amiria Smith has scored 126 points in 17 games. Great job. It has been a it has been great games, and you need to make plans to come out and support our number one flag football pirates. Remember, next Tuesday is the game. And now back to the news desk. What's with Pretzel's favorite time to dance? I don't know what. The twist? <laughs> you have a twisted sense of humor. We're hilarious, all because it's National Pretzel Day. Make sure you have some pretzels today because you know they are not, not bread. <laughs> And I'm Lorelai. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram at Pirate Nation News, B-R-H-S. Have a great day, Pirates. Bye. Bye.